well, without colors, but it's a model of a foam Rubik's Cube. Can you put it over here? Oh this no, is this is this is made of iron. Probably the first ever <laughs> foam Rubik's Cube, <laughs> but uh, we finally had our idea. So basically, we first... This is an idea you had for months, and now you finally made it because you... You got your hands on some on some on some foam. <laughs> so basically, I got foam. And actually, can turns. you show the insides of the cube? How you made it? So basically, first we have cut eight cubes, and I'll like put away two of these. And inside, um, you made like a little space. Some space because inside there's a steel bowl, right? Yeah, I got a bowl a, of steel. A, a steel ball there. And basically, there's a screw. Tiny, tiny little screw. Yeah, in every corner of every one of those eight cubes. In and then one corner, there's this little screw. See? And those are magnets. And those are magnets, which basically attach the screws to the steel ball. And. And then you can turn the construction. And that means I can actually turn it quite nicely. And the next step is what? You're gonna make the real one using wooden cubes, right? <laughs> yes. I can or if you're lazy to make wooden cubes, you can just use dice. With numbers on it, because that, that's what she told me, right? That the, the original Rubik's cube was made with numbers, not colors. Uh, actually, no. It was a little more complicated. They it had unique numbers, and the numbers didn't were not all the same on each side, but just were a pattern on each side. Oh, okay. So. But was it a Rubik's Cube? Technically, a Rubik's Cube would be called a Nichols Cube. Really? Why? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because the first ever Rubik's Cube was actually not made by Rubik's. By Larry Nichols. Or actually, there wasn't even... That, that was not even the first one. There, there is uh, someone who I don't know his name. Um, invented before that a pyramix. What's that? A pyramix. A pyraminx. Pyraminx. What's that? Is basically like a tetrahedral Rubik's cube. Oh, but that sounds more complicated than a three by three. It is more complicated. <laughs> and he also told it me that It doesn't have solving... any center. You also told me that solving two by two was actually more difficult than solving three by three. Yeah. So, so we did the harder one first and then the easy one. 